right now we are going to discuss about meta annotations what is meta annotation annotation about annotation this is called as meta annotation that means declaring annotation by using another annotation that is called as which one meta annotations java has provided all meta annotations in a package the package is java dot lang dot annotation package and java dot lang package a sub package is provided for the sake of this annotations that is java dot lang dot annotation package next one for all the annotations a common and default super type is available that is also be available in the same package that is java dot lang dot annotation dot annotation dot next one in java what are the various meta annotations are available if we come for meta annotations the very first one at the rate inherited and second one at the rate documented and third one at the rate target and fourth one at the rate retention so these are four annotations are available as meta annotations in java programming language now first we will see at the rate inherited annotation what is the purpose of at the rate inherited annotation right for example if i take class employee in employee class i'll declare some variables string eid variable and a string in a variable like some variables and methods we can declare class manager extends employee now inside this manager class we can reuse directly employee class data employee class members why because manager is a child class for employee class we can reuse variables and methods of employee class in a manager class then if we take for example white get a manager details method inside this we can use system dot out dot printer on of ead system dot out dot printer on of enum we can use that means all the members of employee class are available to manager class to reuse because inheritance is providing reusability feature inheritance is providing reusability feature so that we can reuse all the members of employee class in the manager class that means in java all the super class members are inheritable to child classes sub classes all the super class members are inheritable to sub classes then no but in the case of annotations it is not possible why because in the case of annotations if you apply any annotation for employee class that is not inheritable to manager class why because by default annotations are not inheritable from super class to sub class let's say for example i have defined i am going to define an annotation like a persistable annotation i want to declare persistable annotation at the rate interface 
at the rate interface persistable. The meaning of persistable is able to store any database, giving eligibility to store in database. That is the meaning of persistable. I declare this annotation. It is a persistable annotation. And I am going to apply persistable annotation to class employee at the rate persistable. So in this case, annotations are not inheritable from superclass to subclass. We are applying persistable annotation for only superclass. We are not applying it for manager class. Even though inheritance is applicable, is applied here, but only employee class objects are persistable. Manager class objects are not persistable. Uh, because by default annotations are not inheritable. But persistable nature we have given for only employee objects, persistable nature is not provided for manager class. Even though manager class is a subclass for employee class, persistable nature is uh, available for only employee class objects, not for child class objects. Why? Well, because annotations are by default not inheritable from superclass to subclass now. But if we declare this annotation with at the rate inherited annotation, if we declare persistable annotation with at the rate inherited annotation, now this persistable annotation is becoming as inheritable annotation from superclass to subclass. Now, now persistable annotation is getting eligibility. That eligibility is which one to act as inheritable annotation. Meaning of inheritable annotation is if you apply, now if you apply persistable annotation for employee class, now both employee class objects and manager class objects both are persistable. So this effect you are able to get for this annotation by adding at the rate inherited annotation. If you miss this inherited annotation while defining persistible annotation and if you apply this persistible annotation to employee class, then only employee class objects are persistable. Manager class objects are not persistable. But if you define persistible annotation with uh, at the rate inherited annotation, now automatically if you apply this persistible annotation to employee class, now automatically both employee class and its child classes are eligible for persistence. That means they are persistible objects automatically. So the conclusion is the main purpose of at the rate inherited annotation is to make any annotation as inheritable annotation. As by default annotations are not inheritable, but to make any annotation as inheritable annotation, we must go for at the rate inherited annotation. At the rate documented annotation. Second one. What is the purpose of at the rate documented annotation? First, in Java, by default, annotations are not documentable. For example, if I prepare a class employee, in employee class, I am able to declare public string EID, public string ename, public employee constructor string UID public employee constructor string UID comma string ename here like this and if you declare some methods, public white add method and some parameters. Like this, if you declare any number of methods in employee class and if you prepare documentation 
for this employee class by using Java doc tool. Then we are able to see all the variables information, all the constructors information, all the methods information inside our HTML documentation. For example, if it was saved in now, d colon slash apps folder as a file name employee dot java and if we prepare api documentation like uh, d colon slash apps by using java doc tool if we prepare documentation employee dot java like this click on enter button automatically html files will be generated if you open the html files automatically information about your employee class variables information methods information constructors information everything will be listed in the form of html document in the form of html document everything will be provided good so here our point is which one if I prepare any annotation and if I apply this annotation for our classes, for example, at the rate persistable annotation, if I prepare and if I apply this employee persistable annotation for employee class and if I prepare documentation, API documentation for our employee class, then all the variables of employee class all the constructors of employee class and all the methods of employee class are listed in a HTML documentation but uh, annotation, persistable annotation is not listed in the respective API documentation HTML documentation Why? Because in Java by default annotations are not documentable In Java by default annotations are not documentable for example, this is an annotation I prepared at the rate interface persistable annotation I prepared and if you apply this annotation to employee class if you prepare documentation for this employee class by using java doc tool html documentation will be prepared in html documentation at the rate persistable annotation is not listed, is not displayed but if you want to make persistable annotation as a documentable annotation and if you prepare java documentation for our respective employee class and if you want to see this persistable annotation in our respective java class respective documentation we must declare this persistable annotation with the rate with the at the rate documented meta annotation if we declare persistible annotation with uh, at the rate documented meta annotation automatically this persistible annotation is becoming as documentable annotation that means if we prepare documentation for our employee class along with employee class members variables methods constructors and all these things automatically this annotation is also be listed in the html documentation so here the conclusion is at the rate documented annotation main purpose is to make any annotation as a documentable annotation as by default all the annotations are not documentable. So this is the main intention of documentable annotation documented at the rate documented annotation. Alright so now we are going to discuss about at the rate target. What is the main purpose of target annotation? The main purpose of target annotation is to define target elements for the annotation to which we want to apply annotation. That means in Java programming we can apply annotations for variables, methods, constructors, packages, local variables and for another annotations. We can apply annotations for all the programming elements. Now here, what is the purpose of at the rate target annotation? The purpose of target annotation is to define to which set of programming elements we want to apply this annotation. 
different target elements to which we want to apply this annotation. For that purpose, we have to use target annotation. That is the purpose there. Now, what is the syntax of this one? The syntax is very clear. At the rate target where some value we need to provide. Which value we need to provide here? Element type value we need to provide. Element type value. That means here element type is an enum which contains some variables. Which variables we can identify? We can use either element type dot type now here this type is representing class level abstract class level and interface next one element type dot field it can be used for variables element type dot method element type dot method it can be used for methods element type dot constructor it can be used for constructors like many more constants are available so if you want to use at the rate target now where we can provide element type dot respect to element programming element constant value if we provide like this automatically our annotation is becoming as which one respect to level annotation for example i want to define my persistable annotation as a class level annotation so for that what i will do at the rate target where i need to specify element type dot type type in the sense it is a class level we can identify now i want to declare my persistable annotation as a class level annotation and as well as variable level annotation so we can provide at the rate target element type dot type comma we can declare element type dot field we can provide if we declare like this field element type dot type comma element type dot field it is becoming as class level annotation and variable level annotation and if we provide comma other one element type dot method this then this annotation is becoming as which one there no class level annotation variable level annotation method level annotation to define range of target elements to which we want to apply this annotation persistible annotation we have to use at the rate target annotation that is the purpose of at the rate target annotation that clearly you know this is the main intention of it not more than that at the rate target annotation must have a value that values are constants provided by element type enum that we need to understand